Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can change your Mac OS X application icons. Now, recently I've gotten a lot of questions about the icons in my dock, as well as a lot of the icons in my application folder um, that have iOS icons instead of regular Mac OS X icons. And I've gotten a lot of questions about, you know, how do you change these and things like that. So I figured it must be a, a fairly popular topic, so why not do a video about it? So I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do this. One is the easy way and one is the hard way. Now, you might be thinking, you know, why would you show the hard way if there's an easier way? The reason is the easier way requires a piece of software which is going to cost you money. So if you'd rather do it that way, it's, a, it's easier, uh, but it's going to cost you money. So I'm going to show you the a little bit harder way, it's still not too hard. Uh, but it's free. So what you're going to need to have is icons. So what you're going to have to do is get some icons and then you're also going to have to have an application. So I'm going to go into my applications folder and select an icon that I, or select an app that I want to change the icon of. So for this example let's just choose stickies. I can always change this back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and click show package contents and I'm going to see another folder open up here. And in here I can open up contents and then you have to go into the resources folder and you're going to see an icon in here and here it's called stickies.icns so here's your stickies icon and that's what it is so now you're going to look for the icon you want to replace it let's just use the iBooks icon here uh, I have it set to, for dictionary but you get the idea uh, it's going to have to be the same exact name as the icon in the resources folder. So I can type stickies here and get it to be the same name. And now that it's the same name, I can drag it over into here and it's going to ask me to authenticate it with my password because it's going to replace the icon file that's in that folder with the new one. Now, just a word of warning, your icon file that was in there is going to get replaced with the new one. So you might want to save a copy of this icon, the stickies icon, in a separate place before you do this in case you ever want to change it back. That's just kind of my opinion. Once again, this is the difficult way to do it, so there is an easier way. So I'm going to click authenticate and then an older item, it'll give you a little warning and I'm going to click replace. And it's going to ask me for my password. I'll just type that in, hit enter, and now it's replaced. So you're not going to see the changes right away. Um, if I put it in my dock, for example, you will see the changes. You can see that it has the iBooks icon now. But what you'll have to do is log out, log back in, and you'll see the updated icon. Now, if you'd like to make your own icons too, custom whatever you want, instead of what I've provided here, you can download an application called Image to Icons. And you can see it right here. Um, the URL for that is right here. It's img2icnsapp.com and you can download it from here. It's a free version, so it gives you pretty much all the features you'll need. So you can open this up, and from here, you can drop any image there, and it'll turn it into an icon file for you, just like that. Pretty simple, and you can make your own custom icons that way. Now here comes the easy way. That first way I showed you was a little bit complicated, a little bit complex. The easier way is to use an application called Candy Bar. You can get that at panic.com slash candy bar. And what it lets you do is pretty much do exactly what I showed you before, but in a drag and drop fashion. It's really easy. The only problem with this is that it costs money. So, you know, you have a trial period, but it still is going to cost you money. And if you're just looking to change one or two icons, I'd recommend the original way I showed you. So I'm going to open up Candy Bar here. I have the free demo version because, once again, I'd rather just do it the free way. So it's going to find all my applications, and I have all my icons here. All I did is I dragged them out of this folder into my icons here, and it they all show up in this little bay here. Now, I have all the applications on my Mac listed in this folder. It automatically finds them all for you. And what you can do here is, if, say you want to change an icon, like, let's say QuickTime shouldn't be that QuickTime icon anymore. Maybe I want the remote icon. I can just drag it onto that, just like that. And then up at the top here, 
you'll see a button called apply icons all I have to do is hit apply type in my password and it'll relaunch the doc and my new icons will be there once again you might have to log in and log out but that's all there is to it and your icons will be changed just like that now candy bar also has another handy feature where I can click over on this icon of this CD drive and I can change my volume icons so my Macintosh HD hard drive icon I could change things like that uh, but you know once again if you can justify the price to pay to do this then it's good for you but personally I'd rather just do it the more difficult way so that's all there is to changing your icons and if you use the simpler process it is actually extremely easy to do uh, but it's still fairly easy to do if you use the more advanced process either way it's a cool little thing you can do to really customize your Mac and give it a, a nice unique feel I like the iOS icons so that's what I've done with mine but you know you can do whatever you want so I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching